Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for game number three between Vici Gaming and LGD. How the LD? I can count. I'm showing three. the showing the viewers that three yeah. for the summit two. Yeah, game three for the summit two. Yeah. All right. Well, they well they put a second win on the board here, Vici. They got to get there first before they can, but yeah, we'll find out. We're trying good to. We're I'm, good I'm with stretching numbers. for three two two here. <laughs> <laughs> no, no three two two, please. Just yeah. good games. We haven't really had a good game yet, unfortunately. No, I mean, these were I solid performances from LGD. Yeah, they've played well, but it's more like it hasn't been like a really entertaining or exciting game yet. No. So. I, I felt like game one was a bit closer, but at the same time, like it was more Vici game. It just it went longer, but because Vici game was sitting back, getting their farm on, but yeah, as soon as they fought, LGD just won pretty easily, and that was that. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what Vici gaming have in mind for game three. Yeah. All right, they're gonna go for the invoker now. I think it's mostly been Black who's played it lately, but you've got Super and Ice 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 who both can, so you yeah. just never really know with this team. This is like Team Invoker. <laughs> team team Tinkerino, and this will be Team Invoker. I mean, there was also, I guess, the o only other team I remember that had that many Invoker players was Zenith. They had XY, Ice Ice Ice, and I forget. I think one other player who did play some Invoker. For yeah. them. So, we'll see. <sighs> EMP uh, could be pretty good against the Brewmaster. You don't, I guess you don't have to commit to either yeah. Quaswex or Exalt just yet. There's still that Centaur out there, which is normally the ideal partner, either that or the Void, if you want to go for the, the Exhort build. It's still decent on its own, but generally you like to have some reliable stuff. I have a very important question for you, LD. Uh-oh. This doesn't sound important at all when you lead in that way. <laughs> <laughs> I right. know you. I know you. What's your question? Why is it called Exord Invoker and then Quas Wex Invoker? Like, shouldn't it just be Wex and Exord Invoker? Because both both Invokers have Quas. Um, Why? I don't know. Just because Wex is like an unsatisfying word, I feel like. Okay. That's that's the best I can come up with. There's no logic. It should be it should be QW and QE to be consistent. Yeah. Or just I mean, if you want to take out the Quas because it's redundant, then you can. But there's yeah, a, there's no Wex Quas. That's not a thing, unfortunately. I'm not really sure why. I mean, I guess, like, Wex as a, as just, like, the orb is pretty useless compared yeah. to Quas or Exhort, right? Exhort gives like you damage, damage, which is really nice. Uh, Quas gives you the region, which is nice. Yeah. So it's, like, the Wex on its own doesn't do anything. The Exhort on its own does some stuff. The the Quas Wex together is where you get the... Yeah. Okay. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm that's, that's me stretching, but that's all I got. No, I, I, I don't have anything better, <laughs> so I, I was just like, hmm. This is scary, though, for Vici. They've given up Brew, Skywrath, really heavy team fight from LGD, now backed up by a Doom. And how do you lock down this Brewmaster? There's no Void, you can't chrono him. They don't have a Doom. They don't have the Skyrath Silence. There's It's very quickly, this game is, there's few options to deal with a Brew. Unless they just crush him in lane, but I mean, how often does that happen to a Brewmaster? Not very often. This guy can lane against almost anything. Like I, even like your old school lane dominates like Queen of Pain. Like Brew just does fine against them. It seems. Who is it? Yao who plays the Brew for them? Um, normally, if yeah, if it's mid, oh, for sure. Um, I guess there's a chance they do it off lane, but this would be a Yao Brewmaster. Okay. In, in July, Doom in the off lane. Um, and yeah, they just need their their silo safe lane farm most likely. Although we did see a safe lane Doom, so it's. It's a bit too soon to tell as far as where they want to lane it, but I think LGD will be leaning towards picking up like a true Scylla carry this game. Zai is flaming me in chat. What did you do? I don't know. He's just flaming me, dude. That's that's not cool. Zai, we're going to make you do a lot of casting and a lot of interviews when you come to the summit. You're going to be like constantly on camera, dude. Yeah. Keep it up. Keep it up, Bubba. You tell him. Yeah. You tell him, LGD. <laughs> Nothing but. All right, LGD fourth pick here. Heavy team fight. They'll still be looking for their Silar carry most likely, mm, and one support. Sand King. Oh baby, this is just a ridiculously good team fight. Great lockdown. Great burst damage. 
LGD have just like pulled out very different drafts each game. That's kind of what's been impressive about this. And that's where in the past when they're losing, I always look at them and think, oh, they kind of don't really have a set game plan. They just draft something different every time. But when they're winning, it looks great. It's like, oh, this team can win with one draft and a completely different draft. Like, look how good they are. So <laughs> it's both a good and a bad thing. But when you're winning, obviously, hey, VG Gaming, I kept guessing. It's so hard to draft against them, I think, is the problem. Yeah. Oh, and when you have the lead like this, you can just mix. You can just throw a, a wrench in there. Feel very confident. You lose this, you still have the one match point with an advantage with a game to lose even after this. Yep. Two games where LGD could. I mean, not that you want to mess around, but you can take risks. Well, gods, if anything could turn this ship around, maybe it's that FY Rubik. A lot of tasty spells. The brew and the do multis, and then even when you're not getting those, just getting Borrow Strike. One of my favorite spells to steal is Rubik. Just giving you such good initiation as well as escape. So, such a good Rubik game. But that said, it is, if he falls behind, they can just, just crush him. Just constantly go in for the blink clap, your blink impale, and he'll just feed. So it'll be a very boomer bust type of game, I feel, for the Rubik. Yeah, so a bit worried about some kind of hard, g hard carry like an anti-mage coming into play, LGD ban it out. Hmm. What do you go for here for Black? You mentioned the Slark, not the best. You He's actually still good against Doom until Doom gets eggs, because you still get the passive regen from the ult. If you can, like, escape to Fog, I guess. Yeah, it's which, uh, I don't know. I feel Sometimes. like most games I've played and seen it, it, it you generally can, but uh, they don't really have any vision skills. They are fairly mobile draft, though. There's a chance Vici do run the Black Invoker, though, for the safe lane. It's True, in which case you would need Super Zero. Yeah. Ember is out there up against Doom and Skyrath. Mm. I don't know about the Ember pick. Yeah, I mean, any of those kind of snowbally semi carry mids don't do well against Doom. Be it like a Storm Ember. What's like a? There's, I mean, there's always like the the good old Dragonite, I guess, just a a tanky yeah. frontliner type. You can push that like used that to be super go to. Yeah, you can push towers pretty well. They do need a little push here, I feel, for Vici. Unless they're going Quas Exhort Invoker. They can wait. At this point, they wait to see what LGD pick because they don't know exactly what LGD's lanes are and if they're picking up a hard carry for Siler until they see what this last pick is. So. For sure. They can go from there. Um, the Morphling still in the pool is probably the main carry. I guess Spectre as well, but uh, way too much, a bit too much melee, especially if you're against a Tidehunter Anchor Smash. And Weaver. Weaver's a, a solid pick. The yeah. cries are coming out from the chat. FYI, save my rares, please. You noob, you're only betting rares. Real men bet Arcanas. Please. Or, or as Lysander would say, socketed immortals. <laughs> <laughs> you know who else bets Arcanas? Who? DDZ. <laughs> Arrow Gaming. <laughs> that was that. I had so I had a better response to that, but people who th people who throw games, yeah, you don't bet rares doing that. <laughs> uh, of course, shots fired. No. Yeah, that's, and that's what can you do but have a try to try to have fun with it? You know, it's it's sad that super it wraith king is it? What the doom counter wraith king the doom counter. Right. I like it. So Black's maybe going mid on the Invoker, maybe, I, I'm surprised they don't put Super on it, but maybe suggesting they're doing the Eggs on Invoker, Super's more accustomed to the Quas Wex. It's not really the best Weaver game, there's a lot of lockdown for him, Rubik fantastic against him, Ogre can eventually have the double stuns, big AoE from Tide. If, if Vici Gaming has a good start, they could lock the Weaver down and just shut him down. I actually like this Wraith King pick a lot, a fat Wraith King can just wreck a Doom later on. Yeah, this is... Congrats, bro. You used your first Doom. I'm coming right back with my yeah. Abyssal Blade, BKB, AC. Oh, man. Are you going to double Doom me? Oh. I had the team fight recap still from last game up. <laughs> really? <laughs> it was, I opened it as the game ended, and I couldn't close it, and then it was, it was still up when we loaded in, as well as a few other things that are still up. There we go. Get rid of my draft screen. So, yeah, the Race King, one of the natural good Doom counters. Yeah. I, I mean, at the same time... We have seen plenty of Wraith King games where the hero is just useless. So, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's one of those heroes that you just have to be very efficient with your your first usage of the ultimate. Your item selection has to be on point. If he goes for that Midas, they have to build around it. We'll see. But I I like the idea of like the black maybe Quas. Let's see. He's picked up his early Noltali. Could well be that Quas Wex build. Go for the Ghost Walk Orchid. You let Super kind of be your one position. Mm -hmm. Although he's going aggressive. Do we see an aggressive try line here? From, from Vici, Vici, it looks like. I don't, it's possible. I, I like teams, uh, like we saw LGD last game, going offensive trial when you have a Tide Hunter is really good because Tide does so well in 1v1 matchups. And he's almost always against melee heroes because so many of those offlane heroes are melee, be it like your Centaur, your Doom. Uh, so this game, it wouldn't be too bad. You get the Tide versus Doom matchup we had last game, and it looks like that's where Ice 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 is headed up top, and he's going to get that 1v1 matchup. Unfortunately, there's no Doom there. 
Doom Sparta. Ah, sneaky, sneaky. Um, maybe. Is Doom Silo gonna go offline? Mm. Yeah, Silo's, I think, going offline. Wow, that's that's still fine for nice dodge. for Tide. I mean, he'll still do fine against the Weaver, but Weaver Skyrath, eh, not so much. We'll see if Skyrath actually stays top or not. He's maybe just doing some warding, and we'll join the trial lane versus trial lane affair at bottom. And if it's a Doom door lane bottom, Doom Sand King can be. Well, good news is for Vici, they've gotten into the Sand King's jungle. They dropped on their Ops Ward already. The Radiant Observer did see them make this move, but yep. it didn't. I don't. Actually, they should have seen the ward leave his inventory, so they may even know exactly where this is. That for radio. LGD, just knowing what lanes are coming their way, so they can decide what they want to do, whether they want to keep Skyrath top, harass mid a bit, go bottom. Man, that's Sand King hate, but do they actually have sentries is the question. Um, sentries are in faith. Yeah. He's already dropped one, though. He's trying to block. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is one of those spite games, you know? Just Rather than try to deward yard camps, just block the enemy. This is, I mean, so Sand King, Sand King can always catch up, and it's just a sentry blocking his big camp on the far left, so he can still stack that after, like, the 3-4 minute mark. Which is the... that's the main camp you yeah. want to be stacking. It's the, just the safest one to farm. He's not going to want to stack it until at least, like, 2-3 to three minutes, so it's not going to slow him down too much. He's actually going to get the solo XP to start things off when Doom goes looking for a big creep. Problem is, there's no big creep. There's no creeps at all for him. <laughs> actually, zero camps have spawned. They got the illusion room. Yeah, that's... That's fun time. Sandstorm, what what is this MMY? <laughs> Sandstorm harass. Tidex ended up bottom, so Vici Gaming seemed to have changed their mind about the lanes they wanted. They figured out that LGD were gonna dodge the offensive trialing, so they send Tide bottom. This is not gonna be good for LGD top. One lift or stun and Silar, if they have any detection, will just die. They do not have dust for now though. No sentries either. Yeah. So Dual lane versus trialing top, the Brew versus Invoke commit. This will be the, the, the farmy, no one really dies mid lane kind of matchup that we're used to seeing. And Black is doing well so far. Already up to 5 CS. And Ice 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 should do fine against the dual lane. So for Vici Gaming, they've got a trialing versus a dual lane where they've got a lot of killing potential, and a solo versus a dual lane at bottom where Ice Ice Ice, Anchor Smash against two melees, he's pretty happy. Yeah, what, what is MMY going to do here? That zone ain't Sandstorm, I mean, I guess. This guy has a sentry, so he may look to uh, deward some of these big camps. We'll see which, where, where and which he looks to do yeah, that. Getting with. this obs would be huge. Otherwise, that one big camp's going to be blocked for ages. And yeah. I think they saw it drop down, too. Oh. Faith. Oh, maybe he d maybe they weren't clicking his inventory the second. Let's find out. He's got this sentry. You've got to use it somewhere. He's going to check the rune first. Yeah, he might not actually be going for a deward yet. Alright, so bottom line, this Tide versus Doom. We're just seeing Dooms get crushed by Tide, game after game, apparently. Yeah, especially when you don't get a creep. Alright, they're gonna find it. That's big. That, of all the awards to find, uh, obviously, getting the sentries wouldn't be that useful at this point, but... Yeah. That also gives room vision, so it's uh, a pretty important d -word. They still have one up top, so... They still have some room vision, but yeah, this will this will make life a lot harder for Ice 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 bottom lane gods. Yeah. Silo gonna he took the haste rune, does a little pull through here, and this is just gonna pull the wave back for him because he's able to cancel. Actually, nope, they they cancel it. Nice nicely played by the Vici support. Silo's having a rough time and he keeps his bottom, so <laughs> they really don't want this Doom vs. Tide matchup. Ice, and with ice, good ice. reason, this could be a kill. He got really aggressive there, yeah. just diving to the enemy tier one tower, That's taking a lot of damage. The chase is on Skyrath, not gonna be able to get in range for one more Arcane Minus Bolt, and it looks armor. like he it's might live, he will turn! Oh with the Gush Anchor Smash into July, dropping very quickly, Sunstrike, kaboom! See you later. And he's got Salve Tangos, he's gonna be full HP. Well, he he did the math, gods, he did the math. Alright. That extra duration on the Weaver Swarm, I thought maybe the Doom could be in, uh, the Tide could be in some trouble there, but Kraken Damage Block? Oh baby, that stuff is strong. <laughs> It shows you how weak their their dual lane was at first, though, that he was playing that confident. I think he was slightly caught off guard by the Scarth Weaver showing up, but he, he handled it well. And now they're going to roam on bottom. They are not going to let this Weaver farm, it looks like. <laughs> they follow him wherever he goes. The Doom trying to jungle, but there's not many jungle camps left from you. Find a medium camp that's been double stacked, which is a nice bit of farm, but that's all he's really got. And Sanking, probably going to look to stack this big camp. He would have loved to have scattered out this smoke gank, but... I think we're going to maybe see this Weaver in a bit of trouble. Level 5 already on Ice Ice Ice. That's going to be a very fast Ravage. Yeah. Vici Gaming backs against the wall. Can they pull off that reverse all kill? Uh, well, take it one game, game at a time here. Just try and continue to 
a crew a lead in this game number three. Yeah, the smoke gang bottom fails though. They just tried to walk in casually and they had dust, but they couldn't even get a telekinesis or a fire blast off. And now they'll be spotted. So LGD know exactly what they're up to. In good news, MMY is still the saddest sand king ever. Not a single stack in the jungle to his name. Well, he's actually, he does have the one stack here, but Vici are also occupying He's about to be level 3 with actual farm loot. Compare that to FY, he's level 1 with yeah. nothing. <laughs> That's Ogre. true. Ogre's also level I 1. They should really go steal the this, this Sand King stack. I think they saw it when they walked by. As sad as this Sand King may be, not having his stacks, like he's in a much better position than the Dire supports. They it's are very a, far it's behind. It's a bit of a worry having two supports level 1 still and no... And it's a Rubick, an Ogre. These yeah. heroes need their levels. Ogre Leech is level 2 off mid lane, but... Yeah, that's... I fully agree. That is a very big worry. If they could steal this Sand King stack, that would really turn things around, though. And they have the perfect hero to do it in the Tidehunter, with Ravage as well. Mm. He could just walk in and clear that out. Yeah, it just doesn't have the, the knowledge and detection, I guess. And MMY, he's got the 2 in the Sandstorm, so he'll start farming this ASAP. I guess Tide, from Tide's point of view, it's like, well, I've got this lane at bottom lane where I'm not being zoned out, so why, why would you go into the jungle, but... Well, as a result, MMY now has the level 3 Sandstorm, and this is going to be big trouble. Yep. From level 2 and a half a minute ago, now going to hit like level 4 plus 4 and a half with this. So, like, this is where these warding expedi expeditions, where you go block either a Sand King or Enigma's jungle, like, they, it seems to, like, only work marginally. It doesn't actually shut down these heroes at all. They catch up, just like they're some of the fastest jungle farmers, they catch up so fast because of Top that very lane. reason. Super looking for a jump in here in July, maybe, but yeah, it's a level 1 Rubik. What are you going to do? Got his Midas, I think. Actually, buys his gloves a haste back at base. He needs to sell that. There we go. He sells it in. He'll buy Not it from efficiency. the side shop. He'll buy it from the side shop. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Took him a second to realize. Well, that's a second wasted. You can't get that second back. Didn't miss the CS, though. Yeah. Midas online. And... Oh, wow. Solo kill with the Ravage. Weaver goes down to Ice Ice Ice. That's big. They needed that. Yeah, Vici, and they're, they're the only ones with kills, but it still feels like LGD are just farming that little bit better. The lanes are actually being won by Vici Gaming, as far as CS goes. They've got the top three farmers. And you mentioned how underleveled their supports are, but their three cores are just wrecking face right now. All three 30 plus CS, zero heroes plus 30 CS on Vici. Yeah. They do have the Sand King, who's kind of your X Factor, but MMY will have to be. He's up to 1,200 gold now. It'll be a fast blink for the Sand King. They want to get a kill with Primal Split mid, it looks like. Oh, yeah. Invis right now. Scarath on the low ground. Now, Ogre Magi, I'm pretty sure, sees him, so... We'll see what they can make of it. The fact that Scarath is there in such, like, an like, kind of aggressive position kind of signals that Yao is here, and I think they even maybe saw Yao pick up this Invis. Well, Black either knows or just suspects, but either way, he ain't moving. Yeah. I think Yao just needs to... So they're gonna get that this isn't working. They're gonna get double Midas. Pretty big for Beachy Gaming. And this I love this Midas pickup on on the Wraith King in particular. I've seen a fair number of one position Wraith Kings just go for the early treads blink, but I feel it's just so important when you're up against Doom and you know you really want to have the the level you always want your ult up and so getting that level three ult as quickly as possible will be exceptionally important in this yeah. game. I think definitely the right build, and if you can just farm towards the late game, stuff like Brewmaster Primal Split will kind of uh, get just weaken in power the longer this game goes, and we'll see if Silo goes for Mice as well. He's farming nowhere near as fast as some of these other core heroes are, and that death really hurts him as well in this bottom lane. Yeah, compare this to, was it last game where he was on the Weaver, and he just had like absolute free farm, super fast Midas. Oh wait, that, that was Black, but yeah, it's, this is nothing like the, the performance Black had earlier, just under a lot more pressure, and hey, credit to Ice Ice Ice. He struggled a bit in the first two games, but he is delivering big time here in game number three. Yeah. If Sankey will keep farming, he's going to stack things up, and no mud golems going his way, so it's his lucky day. But here comes the rotation in the jungle. FY and Fenrir have hit level three on the Rubik all of a sudden. He gets hit by Concussive Shock, pull back onto the Doom, but the silence is there. The Sun Strike going to hit in July. That's a lot of damage, but MMY gets a nice two hero Burrow Strike. He's looking for the kills here. The Doom goes out on black, and that's going to be a dead Invoker. No deny possible, and Fenrir now should be chased down. Scylla going to get the kill, and this is going to help him catch up. Ice Ice is Ravage, but there's a Brew split to prevent the TP out. Yeah. They might have to blow this Ravage for Not gonna nothing, or the just going to... No. Yeah, I thought maybe he'd go for these other heroes, but they're all yeah. full HP. And farms the Centaur. Instead. They needed yeah. to fight They needed to fight with the Tide there, instead of just three heroes running in. Just a good choke point for LGD to catch them out. Pulling the Doom in was... Definitely not the right move, but I don't think they realize LGD had three heroes already in position until it was too yeah. late. Good Doom, great bar strike, and LGD, they, it's having that high ground advantage. Often when you're trying to gank the Radiant Jungle going up high ground, you're just, you're praying that there's only one hero there waiting. If yeah. there's two or three, 
it backfires so badly, and <laughs> LGD just happened to be like dual jungling in that spot. Yeah, the other option is to go for the wraparound from the lane, which is safer, but it, it takes a lot longer yeah. and is more likely to be scouted out. It was unfortunate. Like, Doom was jungling the big camp on the left side, Sanking was on the right side doing his sandstorm th stand uh, thing. Angel Eye getting bullied here by Super. He's gonna go. Oh, now he wants to back. Yeah, that, that Ray 5 blast cooldown. <laughs> He's just canceled. patrolling around. Hey, come come at me, Skyra. I dare ya. Well, that, that means MMY has a very fast blink now, and he's level 7. Rubik, level 4. They're gonna need to catch FY up this game. Uh, so they'll need a farmed Rubik, I feel, to get them through this mid game. Vici now smoked. They have their Ravage. They'll look for a kill here, but getting Faith isn't that big of a deal. It's more if they can take the tower on the back of this. Yeah. I think that's as much the priority as killing Faith is. I'll take the Faith kill, though, if it presents itself. Sunstrike, Fire Blast, Great Fire Blast, and Tide gets the kill. See ya. Easy peasy. Well, still not too bad for Vici. They now have 1,400 gold on their Tide. He'll be getting some impact item. What do you think in this game? Blink? Um. Mech? Something unconventional. Like, Wraith King maybe goes blink instead, but I don't know. I think it, it, he's saving up money. Looks like we'll just see a blink. It's a good game for a blink. Being able to catch heroes like Sanking and Brewmaster who have primal split or fast escapes, you need to catch by surprise with a blink dagger, maybe. Okay, I can get. I mean, it's never it's, bad. It's kind of. Like, it's just like whether you want the blink now or later. Like the mech just kind of. I mean, slows it down, but obviously with yeah, some benefit. Yeah. Of course, of course, you always want it. So at the same time, what, is, what will LGD look for here? They've got their own Blink Dagger now. Momo, yeah. yeah, he's going to go in with it. He buys it from the side shop. Insta Blinks in onto FY. See you later. But very nice, nice, nice. And though, Counter Rabbit, Sunstrike's there. It will squish up that bug. Now looking for the Scorpion Man, too. It's a hasted tide. He manages to blink out. He's still going to pursue into the tree line. MMY can go. He wants to burrow strike and then through the trees. But Ooh. Ice 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 will retreat out. There will be another sunstrike. sunstrike in 15 if he wants to go for some YOLO plays. <laughs> but very tough <laughs> when it's a Sankey or the Blink. Blinking, Barra striking, Sanking back to Fauna. I, uh, that would be something. If Black he'll he'll be juking a little bit. Let's, let's he's slightly see nervous. Uh, he's taking They're actually going to get vision of him maybe. He's walking back into the Dire Ward. He smokes. Oh, they smoke oh, They don't know where he is now, though. And he was given bottle charges. So they can't go for yep. the Sunstrike play, but they at least know about this smoke. Yep. That should enough to uh, prevent anyone going down here. They're maybe going to see these Ancients that have been stacked up. Oh, that would be big if they can die them. And there is currently no Ravage. The Brew Split's ready to rock and roll. Smoke's going to break. Blink in. Clap on to FY. Okay. I don't think Yao realized he was there. Then he backed off. MMY into the trees. Ice 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 will prevent him from getting involved. You know, Yao, focus. Sunstrike. Mass chain stun. The burst is there. And down she goes. Big pick off on your Brew. Yao blinked in, and I'm pretty sure Gods, he clapped. He's like, oh, wait, I blinked the wrong way. There was someone in the yep. other direction breaking the smoke. And he's like, oh, wait, I actually hit someone, but too late. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And the Sanking actually did run to the side Hunter, which was kind of problematic for Sanking. He was suddenly like, oh, I don't really want to fight you. Otherwise, he could have set up a huge epi burrow and taken down two or three there, possibly. Yeah. That was very fortunate, and or good positioning for my Ice Ice, anyway. So Tyler Witt did go back for a Midas after his ring of health. It's kind of late Midas, but... Not too big a problem. He's duking it out with uh, Ice Ice Ice. Pops a time lapse, but just using that to throw a bit of harass and heal himself up. FY will manage to scrounge a pair of Arcane Boots up. He's still pretty poor by FY standards, but... Yeah. Well, if he can just manage to farm that Blink Dagger, that's that's really the only item he needs to make plays this game. A good start to Game 3 for VT Gaming. They're just looking at the net worth. They've got the three top farmers, and... Like, Wraith, Wraith King and Voker by a pretty good margin as well. So LGD... The comeback mechanic has to be these Blink Daggers, but we haven't seen successful Blink Primal Splits, Blink Epicenters, anything along those lines from the Sanking and the Brewmaster, and they're going to go for another smoke. These smoke ganks need to work. This one does not get scanned by an Observer, but Vici Gaming know LGD want to fight with these Blinks, so they should be playing pretty conservatively regardless. Uh, MMY going to set up a ward here in the Roche Pit. He'll now chill there. He'll blink up to the high ground. He knows there's nobody in range to reveal him, and he's just going to prep. For this jump in bottom lane, they've got a Bruce split. Do they want to commit everything on Ice Ice Ice? Well, they better do it quick, because he's already gone in. He'll assassinate your Weaver first, even if he goes down. So what? He's already used Ravage. He's gotten a kill on the Midas Weaver. He'll Anchor Smash fight through this Bruce split. He might go down eventually. Maybe. That Anchor Smash just doing work. Another Anchor Smash. He's taking literally no damage. They might even manage to keep him alive here. Another Anchor Smash. Well, Brew comes back. Has enough life to get the kill. Now they're going to Doom Black behind the tower. He's chased out. Dropping low to this. A few more auto techs should be enough. The Doom's going to take him down, it looks like. Maybe not with that Quas Orb. Denied. Will they have to deny him? He might just survive. He ticks down to the final Doom tick. So close. And now, 
MMY looks for his retreat, but FY's here to greet him. Zap, yeah, drop, bro. smack, steals the sandstorm. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Got him. Well, they did lose their invoker and their tide hunter, but still again squishing the bug. Yeah. I, we don't. Okay, no team fight recap. Just the sand can kill there, but we'll see. I, it looked like it was somewhat VG gaming favored. The kills on the Weaver time and time again. Dust Wraith Fire Blast at mid. They're going to look to change some. No multicast, though. Not needed. The multicast with the Fire Blast. I think he multicast with the Ignite, Ignite instead. Ignite, yeah. It was the Ignite. Super, though. There's no Wraith King Mana. He doesn't have his ultimate. Use those stick charges. Oh, he used it a bit too early. Then he had five more stick charges, but didn't pop it. Like, he okay. popped it too soon, so he didn't have enough mana. That's costly. Okay. One for one trade there is okay. It's radiant favorites, but it's still a it's still this Weaver kill. Who's I mean shutting down Silo is generally a good way to beat this LGD team. So we'll see if that's going to be enough here. Doom went for an arcane mech type play, so he's going more utility. Uh, that's actually doom. a big. I, I feel that's a concern for LGD. Like trading now when your Doom's not gone for the greedier build. Yeah. And this Wraith King is getting fat. That's a worry because you just you imagine a game where this Wraith King has a bunch of items later on, it looks like Super Will, and you've only got the single Doom to deal with him, you're not killing him twice. Let alone... And he'll always have that ult up, so. And you don't have the best line for kiting him around either, so... I guess Weaver's, to some extent, is good there. Yeah, Weaver's good at kiting Wraith King, but just look at all the lockdown, right? They're gonna go in mid, looks like. They lost this Gareth Mage, that Wraith King top lane, but mid, they'll jump in, they'll assassinate your Ogre. I'll go first, and now get to work in this tower, maybe, has, uh... Devour onto some forward spirits and yeah. doesn't seem like too much more will come of this. Not the best pushing lineup. They can zone heroes away from the tower to try help their push with the brewmaster threat of a blink primal split, but actual damage onto the tower is somewhat missing. And that's where having the other thing is not having a farm weaver really hurts them because there are a lot of like big cooldowns. Not just the doom, but the brew split, the epi. If you have a hero with two lives, maybe they have an Aegis, so they have three lives on the Wraith King or two lives on the Invoker, then they use all that combo, all those combos, and then you have nothing for round number two if the Weaver's not farmed, and Sandler's not getting farmed, gods. He's, yeah, he's still in catch-up mode. Treads, Ring of Health, he's probably going to go for a Lincoln Sphere, but I, I guess it even just blocking like a Telekinesis or Wraith Fire Blast initiation could save his life. And On the Vici side, you've got a super farmed Invoker. Black almost has a Necro 3. Double smoke. Okay. Uh-oh. LGD might even get the high ground jump on them, but they're going to go in on Silar. They're trying to bait him. Well, <laughs> he is bait, but it doesn't work. Ravage comes through. Yao went for the clap first. Doesn't get off his split. Now Cold Snap trying to split desperately. He will manage to get it off. They turn this one. They doom black. The Burrow Strike was stolen by f though. He comes roaring through. Keeps his team in the fight. They'll lose the Weaver and the Sand King. FY already making his place even before he gets a blink. Black still alive, the Doom wearing off. And this is just not good enough for LGD. MMY, that's a, a buyback. That's a dieback oh for him. No. They're going to lose more in July on the run. It's looking disastrous here for LGD. Yeah. Sunstrike will land, and in July gets brought down. Another Barrow Strike in Rubik. That stolen Burrow really turned. I, I, they might have broken even there, but with the stolen Burrow, it was a clean win. Very decisive win there. It was a four for nothing in the end. The Sand King dying twice, and a 3,500 gold swing Oof. going and they PG's might, way. So they get Roche now. They've got Wraith King. It's a no points of possible. blood loss. Exot Invoker. He's got Necrobook. He didn't actually use his Necrobook in the fight because he really? was doomed. Oh my god. Yeah, that's right. He was doomed. So he couldn't summon it and he's going to wait till the Necro 3 arrives and probably pop it out. Yep, there we go. And Easy, I don't think Roche. you can test this. Yeah. Sand King and Doom both dead, so no way. They couldn't even like TP smoke here fast enough. They can reincarnation still. That was in... That fight not even close in the end. Train wreck for LGD. They had Vici Gaming on the ropes coming into this game. Still, even with the loss here, they'll have that 2 1 lead, so no reason to panic if you're an LGD fan. But more importantly, I think for Vici, it's just at least getting some momentum for once, because it's just been all LGD all the way thus far. And I guess you could say LGD come into this with a, a lot of momentum, having to fight through that lower bracket finals here first, taking down Newbie to get here, and. I mean, it, it had been, what, four wins in a row for them coming into this game? Yes. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Looking for a jump in top lane for LGD on Super, but he has Reincarnation. At the same time, Vici very close to Silar bottom. They can always TP to these T1s as well, and uh, well, he blinks out of there anyways to be on the safe side. So, uh, bottom lane, Weaver, Invis up, and he's going to scout out these two supports. They're just so far away, though, to do anything. Mm, yeah, I don't see him getting kills off for this. Ogre doesn't have a TP, though. 
And FY, he's got Pyro Strike, so he actually hasn't escaped. They see Scylla now, so... <laughs> he I might... Do they see this courier coming? I think Ogre Rubik just needs to Tyler's looking to here. snipe the courier. I believe he Top got lane, eyes on it. In July. He's gone in. Hasn't actually used the Doom just yet. Super's got reincarnation, so he's not exactly a good Doom target. Uh-oh. And, uh, yeah, that's a dead Doombringer. The Scorched Earth helping him out a little bit to stay alive. Barra Strike's gonna proc the reincarnation. They really want to proc mm. that reincarnation. It's still not happening. Gonna Super's gonna blink it again. Oh. Come at me. He gets the slow on two. Ice 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 is Rabbit now. Cancels the TP. On to Faith you go. Gush onto MMY. He'll try to Burrow Strike into the trees. Has the blink. Looks like he'll live, but again, three heroes dead. Is that Weaver? Weaver also ended up falling in the. the Ogre and Rubik. Maybe they got a. Um, they might have needed a multicast, yeah. Yeah, plus. Burrow, power. lift, multicast. That's a lot of burst. It must have been a multicast burrow strike, and they, they break it with like a telekinesis. And it, so then they even get the fade bolt damage. They've got like four nukes out of that. Yeah, that's a lot. This is looking very, very unlikely for LGD, I have to say. I don't even think they have the slate. With the Doom's itemization, he's not going to be that super carry yeah. Doom. If this was a Midas Doom, like, I would say, yeah, it's at least even late game, but this utility Doom and the Weaver who's this far behind, no way they got this late. Eventually, Super gets that Abyssal Blade, you know, like one or two more items, the AC, maybe the Complete Mjolnir, perhaps a BKB. He just goes ham. He, one Abyssal Blade, Weaver's dead. Oh, I mean, Weaver's dying without stealing it. stealing Ancients, even. They've they're just being brutal right now. They're going to find a big potential kill here. They're black caught out in the dire woods. He'll fall once. He does have Aegis. Do they go for him again? TPs are coming. There's no Ravage to counter initiate this, though. Black now caught out in a very important turnaround, perhaps. The Smystic Flare coming through. Big damage done. He's got Deafening Blast. Casts it. Uh, not enough. The mech from the tide tried to help him out a little but bit. But simultaneously bottom. Oh, they can't get Silar. All right. So I'll be... Well, <laughs> All right. This Weaver is just so poor. Two and six. Not it's a tough Weaver game. I, like I was mentioning earlier, if you don't have a good start, they just have so much lockdown for him. Wow, that's a lot of gold for that Invoker kill, though. 1,400 gold going the Radiant team's way. That rubber band effect, man. Rubber band effect, man. That is a big rubber band. Ooh. And that was also the Aegis down. Yeah. It had... It had two minutes left. I don't really know if they were going to be... like. I don't think they had a timing there to really do much with the Aegis, but yeah. just getting rid of it and getting that kill is still very important. Ogre Rubik, these two supports, even 20 minutes in the game, this is normally where you see supports look to stick with their cores, have decided we can still gank, we can still find kills on our own. And Here's your FY blink though. It's ready to rock and roll. That's when things get fun. I'll be picking that puppy up momentarily, and unless they find it like right now. Yep. Let's probably head to the side shop just now to buy it. So it looks like uh, Vici Gaming will get dewatered though in the enemy jungle, which is small victories going LGD's ways, but they'll take anything they can get at this point. Yeah, the brew play for Meow has just not really been very effective, and I feel a lot of where this game turned gods, it goes back to that earlier smoke where they just got ambushed. Ice 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 was waiting to cancel the Sand King initiation up here, and they just had a perfect spread. There's oh, a fight in the Radiant phase. Jungle. Sunstrike is going to go. He leads with the Mjolnir. The Mjolnir damage is pretty <laughs> Big bet. He just killed him with the Mjolnir. And MMY, he's done for. He's got no blink, no barrow. <laughs> Crit to the Off with your head. In the other side of the Radiant Jungle, Siler also on the run. FY got a stolen Sakuchi. Now they bloodlust him for a super, super fast Rubik. Yeah, could see a blink telekinesis. He's gonna go for it. That's a T2 tower that you're tanking. That's a little ballsy. I guess there's no backup though. Yeah. At the same time, mid lane, Injali caught out by Black trying to pursue him with Cold Snap. Not quite enough though. Black may just go for the tier 2 here, but doesn't he be a bit concerned about the Doom from the high ground? Blink is available. And there's, uh, well, backup for VT Gaming there. So Doom is not going to make a play on this one. Not without the Sand King alive. Well, what a fitting game for Wraith King to go off. Zai, Zai is uh, laughing in the chat, and your undefeated Wraith King player celebrating another good performance for one of his favorite heroes. Alright, Super going to TP top. His farm is just getting colossal right now. Mionia, 2k gold. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if there's going to be any answer to this Wraith King at any point this game. <laughs> Compare that to the Radiant carry. Weaver, 7.7k net worth. Literally, barely, on barely, barely more than half. Yeah. Or barely less than half. Oh, sorry, barely more than half, barely less than double. Jeez. <laughs> you, were, you were right the first time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Overthinking it. But yeah, it's... Weaver's fucking poor, dude. Can we just say that much? He's I, really poor. I think that's pretty accurate. So uh, LGD going to just make a move towards the top tier 1, thinking there's, there's no way we fight VG Gaming. They can take a tier 2, we'll take a tier 1. That's a good trade for us. But uh, we'll see if they can even get this tier 1 up top. It's still pretty healthy, and they haven't got the uh, 
They haven't got the whole Vici gaming team distracted at the bottom lane. They could look to defend this top lane if they wanted to. Well, Super has TP in 10 seconds. End of the day, it's still going to be a tier 2 for uh, tier 1 if they if they just trade cleanly, which it looks like they will. Yeah. Still, uh, I'd say a win here overall for Vici, but it's nice for LGD just to get some income given how dirt poor that Weaver is. Just a complete abandonment of the top tier 1 and LGD going to even start poking at this tier 2 maybe, but that's where Vici are like, uh, okay. We got Necro 3, we have Ford Spirits. We can even get some alacrity going in this shit. Let's get this tier 3. <laughs> now we're just cursing for the hell of it. <laughs> Here we All go. Right. Yeah, Necro 3 online, as you mentioned, gods, and it's a max exhort for black. They need to focus this invoker. As much of a problem as Super has become, it's black who will just ruin them if they're not careful. This and Isis is there dead. to protect him. We've got the backup of the Ravage. This is. Tower's already down. They're gonna devour one of those Necro minions. Pretty nice for July. Too bad you can't get their abilities. Tower deny. That's what I'm talking about. That's uh, not gonna. Count That'd be pretty much, cool though. if you could get like Last Will and the or the Super Mana Burn. Too bad. Actually, that'd probably be OP. Okay. So Black gonna TP back. It seems no Aegis, no real intent to break the high ground. Is it? They've got so much money banked on multiple heroes, like 1500 and your Tide. Good 3k on your, your Wraith King. So this lead is not exactly ideal for pushing the high ground when so much of the lead is just banked up in excess gold. Yeah, the main thing that they could want to wait for is just that refresher on Tide. He's not that far off, and it's a very big item for breaking the base. Outside of that, though, they're in great position here. Yeah. If they want to farm for late game, they still have plenty of room to grow. If they want to fight now, they can do that too, but they're going to get caught up for Ice Ice Ice. He will retreat to the south. Trying to survive through this damage. Epicenter coming through. He's bloodlusted, I think, and just slightly out of range here. Looks like he still will go down in the end. Another blink forward. It's going to be close. They do get the kill. Denied, though, in the end by FY. He's stunned up. He's got another Shikuchi in a few seconds. I don't think there's really much detection at this point. They weren't ready for the Shikuchi still. Yao has Primal Split, but he BKBs. Oh, dear. That's not exactly the most effective BKB use. May just have to ulti to get out of this one alive. In July, pulled up. Pulled Mind you, this is without Black, who's just slowly yeah. creeping towards the fight. And he's going to run right into uh, this that's Scarab a dead Mage. Scar. <laughs> it's yeah, like that, that's not a juke spot. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Skyra. I can't Three see for you, one. you can't see me. They didn't even get to Ravage that fight. That's like a good fight for LGD, oh, you know? Black on has paper. Necro, so this is, I think, a dead Rax. Whiff yeah. is available. Okay? And they're looking for the, the knockout blow here. FY with the huge long range grab. Sakuchi, Sunshine going to be off the mark, though. Bit of miscommunication. This means the Brew might be allowed to split. Nope, just kidding. Deafening Blast is there. Kill secured, that's four dead. And GG, LGD unable to close Vici out. As Vici will force that game four. Alright, we've, we've had three fairly standard one-sided games. Like, we're yet to get that like close nail bite up there. At least we get a, a closer series though, so yeah. I'll, I'll take it. Vici gaming all around good performance and we're seeing some drafts that aren't going like conventionally as well. Like a first first two pick invoker and with uh, the way that it was played here by Black, you can see why. I love the, I love the Wraith King pick. Perfect perfect choice to, to deal with this Wombo combo, to deal with the Doom pick. And after a terrible start for FY and Fenrir, they, they did a nice job of coming back yeah. cuts. Mm -hmm. Wraith King maybe should... I guess you did have that last ban, but... Um. Yeah, I, I, it's not really in your head to ban Wraith King, you know. It's just not a hero no. that's hugely on the radar for most of the, the Chinese teams. No. Well, uh, that does it. We're going to take a break, guys. We've got game four. Coming up for between VG Gaming LGD, winner of this series will be joining us here in LA at the Beyond the Summit studio. So uh, stick around. The Summit 2 by G2A.com continues after this.